Here it is, Silver. Now, Cavendish can't catch it, Kimotabi. You take off, Matt. I'm going to continue to wear the mask and keep my identity a secret. For how long? Our job has just begun. We have a lot of trails to follow. That good. Good day, folks. Well, as you can see, I'm in the vehicle here. When I drove a ways and I was going to go uh, try my hand at uh, digging a site, but uh, turns out there's a lot of uh, snow still on the ground up in that area. So I'm, I'm heading back to a different spot. And I've drove by here several times. I've always thought I'm going to stop and check this uh, little road out. It's an old road I can see coming out of the woods there. So I've already uh, been in just a few minutes ago. And I didn't take anything, any digging implements or anything with me. Just because I was just kind of looking around. So anyways, I've come back to the vehicle to get some digging implements. And I'm going to head back in. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to find some of these locations. Now, whether or not we dig up any uh, treasures, well, that's a different story. But there's definitely a location there to be investigated. So let's go have a look at that. Okay, so I'm not very far from where I just shut you off there. About a minute ago, only a couple hundred feet up the road here. And I had walked by it. And then I circled back once again like Jen Saki does. But anyways, i seen this pile of rocks down here, so i just come down over the bank here. Like so. And you can see the rocks here. Well, this, my friends, is a cellar hole. I'm going to come down inside here. Here's another wall to it here. I'll come out here, and we'll turn around and have a look. See that? Up that way, corner, across there, back down this way. Check out that wall. This is going to be a good spot to metal detect too. So anyways, I'm thinking where would they put their stuff? Well, right down in behind here, I immediately see some debris. Huh. An old teapot. There's a nice piece of stoneware. Over here is a bottle I see against the tree. Machine made one, but it's likely a real early one. Alright, so I'm going to keep looking around and amongst this debris here. I might do a little scraping in here. And Lord knows what else I might pull out of here. So, anyways, if I find anything, I'll get you back up on. Okay, folks, so there's that bottle over there against the tree that I showed you earlier. My rake. And I just scraped around right on this little ledge right here. And uh, almost immediately, check that out. Big old wrench. Somebody's got a square nail stuck in there. There's a wedge <laughs> to keep it in place, and that nice little buckle come out of there as well. Pretty cool for just scraping around that little bit right there. All right, let's see what else we can get out of here. Just another quick clip here, folks. This is obviously a little uh, iron deposit right here where I found that wrench and buckle. Check this stuff out. Plop that out. Looks like the leg off something. Really no idea, to be honest with you. Nice big old axe head. Uh, iron collar to something. And just some other odds and ends here. Iron pieces. Yep. Well, anyways, that's pretty cool. There's a piece of something or other. Anyways, that leg there is pretty neat. I might actually take that. All right, let's keep scraping around. Okay, me again, folks. A little update on what I've been scraping out of here. Cool old hammerhead. It's actually in pretty good condition. A couple of these teeth off some sort of 
plowing instrument. There's another one there. A few other odds and ends. This big piece of iron here. Not sure what it is. Anyways, I might see if I can get this phone set up. Or camera, rather, so you can see me dig around a little bit. See if anything else comes out here alive. There is a bit of glass in there, but so far it's all broke. Okay. Hinge or something there, decorative. Piece of pottery. A bolt, some more glass. Sold to a shoe. There's another one. Another shoe. some other stuff there too folks I actually got my stuff sitting right where I need to be so I'm gonna shut you off and move it okay folks so this is what I got so far for glass this is a whole one here uh, this come out over there with the uh, in the iron section there's that this here nice case gin with an applied lip on it Or how well the camera's picking up that applied lip, but that's pretty good there. You can see well, that's the uh, going to be the base to it, I would imagine. This was further down over the hill there a little bit. That piece of glass there, we'll keep that for the shards box. That's a nice shard. And just right down in here, I see there's some other glass down in here too. It's kind of scraped up. Here's this one here broke can't quite make the maker's mark out on the base right here's a looks like a cup yep it doesn't look to be manganese glass but it might be you never never know with these things until you get them out for a while all right well still here folks i was just right over there See that debris there? Well, I just moved over this way a little bit over here. Scraped around that stuff, didn't find anything. So I came right over here into another little dip in the ground. I got a bottle here. It's got a metal lid on it. Check it out. It is manganese glass, that one. There's some other broken stuff here. There's another one of those cups. That's broke. Thought I seen something else. Oh yes, right here. Oh, oh that's broke too. Anyways, I'll keep scraping around. There's a piece of. Oh, that's a decorative piece of glass there. Okay, kind of getting into some interesting stuff here. I'm pulling out a bunch of old tobacco tins. This here is pretty good find. Check it out. It's a little maker's plate off an old hand saw. <sighs> Trying to get focused on it here so you guys can have a look at it. I'll take that and uh, try to clean it up and then put a little clip up showing it cleaned up. Alright. Here's the uh, handsaw medallion cleaned up. I soaked it in CLR for about 24 hours and gave it a little scrubbing. Cleaned up quite nicely. 
and the design of these changed over the years but this one here dates 1906 to 1911 so that narrows the age range down quite nicely on this one anyways this piece warranted superior nice uh, eagle on there got the piece of wood still attached to it from the wooden handle on the handsaw a little added touch <laughs> That's a nice piece. I like that, yeah. Alright, well, let's get back to the cellar hole. And uh, here's a bottle sticking out right here. Cork top. Oh, it is embossed. Okay, it's just the contents. Probably like an extract bottle or something. Anyways, I'll get you up on that. Good find. Okay, still scraping around down in this little air pocket here. And uh, there's lots of old broken glass in there. This little milk white, or milk glass just come out. It's base embossed, but I can't quite make it out. Looks like it says uh, Cleveland something or other on it. Wood still on it. Might be a keeper, it might be actually, uh, might be blown. Hard to tell with these things. Put that up there, anyways, and I'll keep uh, digging around there. Well, folks, still here in this little dip. I just pulled that uh, milk glass out of there. And sorry you didn't see me pull this out, but uh, I just got another full one out of there. Check it out. It's a little embossed pencilar bottle, cork top. Cork top, looking to see if it's blown, I'd say it is. Maybe not though. I can't rightly tell. But anyways, looks to be uh, looks to be in good condition. Sure. Add that to the collection. Okay folks, back over into the uh, iron section here and I see this sticking out. That looks like a utensil of some sort. Uh, yep. Big old spoon. Silver plated, I would say. I mean, quite a bit wore off there. Looks pretty crusty looking. Neato. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Big amount of stuff here. Oh, that's a neat little shelf bracket or something cool I might have to go back and get my other uh, camera so I can get some more footage two more things real quick folks right after I pulled that uh, spoon out check it out big old heavy coat hanger and a sad iron rest This one's got some writing on it too. That's gonna to be cool. I'm gonna clean take that and clean it up. Alright. Later. Okay folks, so here we are again. This is uh it's been in there for about six and a half hours so far. I changed the water once, and uh while doing so I took the opportunity to knock some of the big crusty, chunky, rusty pieces off the trivet and the uh little iron hook there so i'm gonna leave it in i don't know qu probably another six hours anyways and uh we'll go from there but i don't think i'll do any more updates on the electrolysis here i'll just wait until the uh the recap where or the cleanup where everything's all cleaned up and uh we'll sh we'll do the old show and tell part of the video but that won't be in this video it's going to be in the second part of this dig. So tune in for that one and uh, you'll see the results of this. Okay, over and out folks. Have a great day. See you all on part two. And I got something else here as well and it's embossed. <laughs> and uh, it quite possibly could be enough.